Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm at Cashel, which is one of the most iconic places in Ireland. As you can see here, it's a beautiful structure. It's recently actually gone through a transformation of one part of it. They're rejuvenating it, trying to bring it back to its former glory. But it is uh, an area here which is elevated on a hill in a town called Cashel. And I'm here for sunset. And what I'm here, I've had to drive, I had to drive around actually to find the location that I can actually shoot this because it's a very, very popular tourist area, so it's very difficult to be able to get a clean area that you can get into fields or anything like that. And even right now, I can't get into a field. I'm on the side of the road here, actually, been able to use this area here where I've got a clear view, and then the sun is going to be setting on the opposite side. So hopefully, with the clouds that I see there in the background, they might light up at sunset. It does look like it's going to be relatively clear on the west, so hopefully I'll get some nice shots from today. So what I'm going to do here is just get set up, and um, yeah, I'm going to use my uh, long lens, I think, be able to zoom in on the uh, structure, and hopefully I get some nice light as well for today as the shoot will go on. setting up the shot now and I'm framing it just to get the wall here on the base of the frame and then the structure in the centre and I'm using again my manual focus and as you can see here on the areas that I'm focused in I've got my green square meaning that everything there is in focus and also everything else is going red around me also. Now the light is quite bright at the moment so I'm shooting actually at f4 and 1 500th of a second and the reason for that is I want to capture a couple of the birds that are flying around there as well. I want to be able to capture those within the shot. Now um, by having the uh, focal length as well at this distance. I'm at 135 mil. Now if I zoom in here, I can actually get more into the detail in relation to that. I can remove the crucifix that's on the left hand side and just purely then have the main structure within the image. Now there's a couple of birds that are flying over here so I'll just wait and I'll be able to get those shots and at 1 500 of a second it's telling me it's slightly underexposed but at the same point it's still more than bright because the sun is shining directly on it. So yeah I'll grab that shot anyway here and now I'll go in to review the image and if we look we can see that the structure is completely sharp and if I look at the edges as well here it's completely sharp around the edges and there's a nice bit of light as well on that. Now with the clouds as well if I zoom back out to give you a look here with the clouds that are there hopefully they'll catch with the light uh, and I also as well have a couple of guys here from a bit of an audience with me. I'm glad I didn't go into a field because there's a few cows that have come up to me here to say hello um, but one of them actually if I just turn this here just to give you a look oh, he might be coming back in there there he is there, look, uh, coming in to say hello. So yeah, just outside the frame at the moment here. And if I zoom back into where I was at 135 mil, and then just reframe that to be able to capture all of that area, that hopefully will be my shot for the evening. So yeah, that's the setup anyway now at the moment here, just waiting now for the light to get increasingly better. And hopefully, like I say, those clouds behind it as well, will be able to catch some of that gorgeous light.
seems I have an audience here with me trying to get these shots. As you can see, I have a multitude of cows that have come over to say hi. The problem is though, is that they keep standing right in front of my camera to get the shot of Cashel. Now, I'm taking shots in between cows, but yeah, always a struggle. Never know what you're gonna get when you're doing landscape photography. As you can hear and see, these guys have other ideas for me to get uh, my shots here this evening. They are right in front of my lens, so I'm getting some shots of cow's heads with um, cashew in the background. But uh, the light now is just about starting to get nice. You know, it's kind of still streaming through, but I do see a bank of clouds there on the western horizon. Hopefully I'll get some nice light before that swallows it up. But yeah, never know what you're going to get, huh? And it's always going to be a challenge, but I think this is a different challenge now that I have to overcome for today. <laughs> These guys are relentless, man. I never put my camera on the centre column up, and I normally don't even have a centre column, I just have it on this tripod. But I've had to put it up to the highest now to be able to try and avoid getting these guys into the frame and I'm still probably going to have them within the frame anyway as it is in the bottom <laughs> edge of the frame also even at this height but yeah the sun now I think is going in behind those clouds so I might have missed the best of the light but I think I got a couple of shots albeit with a couple of cows in the, the base of it anyway but yeah they're determined to stop me having a clean shot of Cashel um, this evening. Now, as the sun has gone into those clouds, I'm still not going to stop. I'm going to wait and see. And if any of these clouds that are above it actually start to catch some of the light, um, it's wishful thinking, I think, at this stage anyway, because I have missed the lights and the cows, like I say, have more of an idea, idea of a photogenicness than Cashel itself. But yeah, that's what it is. We'll continue and see how we go for the remainder of the evening. I've had to beat a hasty retreat down to the other end of the road here to avoid those cows. They were relentless. They weren't letting me off and getting any clean shots of Cashel. And the sun now is just about to dip into the horizon, so I'm at the last of the light. As you can see here behind me, it's getting a small bit lit up, and there's a couple of clouds as well that have some lights as well there. But I'll continue on anyway here. Hopefully, I get some nice shots. Well, that's a wrap anyway. Those cows were hell-bent on getting in my shots. Maybe actually I got a couple of nice shots with the cows in it. But the sun now has gone below the bank of clouds. I did actually get a small bit of a blush in the clouds as well. So I changed out to my long lens. Sorry, from my long lens to my uh, 16 to 35. And I got a couple of shots there. I think at around about 30 mil. Um, there was a bit of colour over on the right hand side of the, um, the structure and the cashel. And what that basically has done there is given me a couple of different shots anyway. So if I'd stayed on top of the hill, I probably would end up with the same shot, but just different light. So the cows, maybe they actually did help me and force me to get a couple of different compositions. I'm going to finish up this episode. Hope you've enjoyed coming along on this action-packed adventure. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, schlange vor. Thank you.